In today's morning rounds, a step toward a new contraceptive for men. An international study found experimental birth control injections for men are almost as effective as the pill for women. It may sound promising, but the gender gap in contraception use may not close anytime soon. Our Dr. Tara Narula is here. Good morning. Good morning, Nora. So how was the contraceptive tested and what were the results? So they took 320 young, healthy men, ages 18 to 45, and they had these men who were in long-term monogamous relationships, actually sexually active about twice a week. They gave them injections of a long long-acting testosterone and a long-acting progestin. These injections were every eight weeks and then they followed them for about a year and they looked to see what happened to their sperm counts and did they in fact get pregnant. Uh, and what they found is that the injections were 96 percent effective in terms of reducing the sperm count from 15 million per milliliter down to less than 1 million sperm per milliliter. Also uh, there were only four pregnancies in 266 men mm -hmm. and for 95 percent of the men their sperm count returned to normal within about a year. Did it affect sexual function. So it actually increased libido uh, in some cases oh. and that was one of the side effects. Uh, in addition... Is that a good side effect? Well, it depends who you are. <laughs> but, <laughs> Hello, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there were other side effects like uh, acne, like yeah. uh, injection pain, uh, pain at the injection site, myalgias, but the most concerning were mood uh, alterations or depression. So they actually stopped the study early because of the side effects. The so, mood of... Mood of Mood changes, oh. yes. Well, birth Emotions. control pills can lead to yes. depression in women, and so were there similar things in men? Yes, there were, there were. And that's one of the concerns. And basically this works similar to the pill in that it affects the hormones. So you give testosterone and progesterone, that interacts with the hormones that the brain releases, thereby interfering with the pathway that causes the testicles to release testosterone and create sperm. Well, well if I tell you, shot... if men had to do a female version of the diaphragm, they would come up with something very quickly. <laughs> well, this... So how soon do you see this happening? Uh -huh. Yeah, Or not... do you see it happening? The problem is, is that pharmaceutical companies have not been invested in it. That is really the big problem. So the NIH, the World Health Organizations, academicians, these academicians, these are the ones that have been pushing this research, but there's no funding there. Why? Right. They're concerned maybe there's a lack of profitability. Maybe there is a question of gender bias. Yeah. Uh, there's a concern of regulatory hurdles. In addition, it's not as easy to stop 1,500 uh, sperm that are produced per second uh, as opposed to one egg per month. Yeah, there's some That's a good little point. suckers yeah. going on. That's good. I'm just glad the they're even having the conversation. The science will outsmart the sperm, I All think, right. at some point. All right. I have something to say so. to your comment, and, but we're out of time. As usual, a lot of interesting stuff happens in the breaks. Yeah. Maybe they can put it on the podcast. <laughs> Dr. Taryn Rula, great to have you here. Thank you.